Hello, in today's video, we shall learn in detail about organic evolution. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding about Lamarckism, Darwinism and modern synthetic theory of evolution. Let us begin with the introduction to organic evolution. Organic evolution can be defined as a slow, continuous and irreversible change from the simple, less organized forms of life to the present-day complex and highly organized forms of life. Various theories have been put forward to explain the mechanism of evolution. The theories are theory of inheritance of acquired characters, Darwin's theory of natural selection, and modern synthetic theory of evolution. Theory of inheritance of acquired characters, otherwise known as Lamarckism, was proposed by Lamarck. This theory was based on the principle that all the physical changes taking place in an organism during its lifetime due to increase in size or better development of organs are inherited by its offsprings. According to Lamarck, living organisms and their parts tend to increase in size. In response to the change in environment, which leads to change in the needs of organism, new organs are formed. Organs that are used more extensively become highly developed, while the disuse of any organ results in its degeneration. The modified organs are inherited by the next generation. To support his theory, Lamarck cited several examples. As a result of frequent stretching of its neck in search of food, the giraffe has developed a long neck. By extending the skin between the toes in order to facilitate in swimming, the aquatic birds have developed webbed feet. Other examples are limblessness in snakes, blindness of moles, dimorphism of submerged and aerial leaves in aquatic plants, presence of rudimentary eyes in deep sea fishes, etc. According to Lamarckism or the theory of inheritance of acquired characters, the changes acquired by an organism in adaptation to the environmental challenges during its lifetime are automatically passed on to the future generations and therefore becomes part of heredity. By the way, if you are getting some value out of this video, please like and share this video so that all of us can learn, unlearn and relearn together. Also, please consider subscribing the channel and press the bell icon to get instant notification of all the upcoming videos. Next is critical analysis of Lamarck's propositions. Lamarck suggested that organisms tend to increase in size, but it is seen that the present-day herbs, shrubs and grasses are smaller in size as compared to the primitive trees. He also suggested that new organs result from new needs. If this be true, then human beings should have developed wings by this time. According to Lamarck, the organs which are used extensively become highly developed while the organs which are not used degenerate. This principle is not accepted as inheritance of a character does not depend upon the use and disuse of parts. Lamarck believed in the inheritance of acquired characters. August Weismann proved that 
Changes which occur in somatic cells are not inherited, while the changes which occur in the reproductive cells or germ cells are inherited by the next generation. Wise men cut the tails of white mice for 20 generations and observed that all the offsprings developed tails, which means that acquired characters are not inherited. Next, let us understand new Lamarckism. It is the theory of evolution based on Lamarckism supporting the concept that acquired characters are inherited. Cope, Spencer and other followers of Lamarck tried to modify Lamarckism. According to them, adaptation arises as a result of direct action of environment. The development of fur on the skin of animals is to protect them against cold weather. But if the climatic conditions of the environment returns to normal, the fur would also disappear. They believed in the effect of use and disuse of organs on evolution. They emphasized on the role of structure and function of environment which resulted in evolution. Systematic and linear pattern of growth explained by Lamarck was supported by various evidences from fossil records. But Mendelian genetics did not support the concept of acquired trait inheritance. The characters acquired by an organism during its lifetime are all phenotypic changes. These changes do not affect the genetic makeup of an organism. Next is Darwin's theory of natural selection or Darwinism. Charles Darwin postulated the theory of origin of species by natural selection based on various facts and observations. It is also known as Darwinism. Darwin's theory of organic evolution is based on the following principles. Overproduction or an excessive natural rate of multiplication. Every species has a great potential for reproduction and tend to increase in population in a geometrical manner. Struggle for existence, since the number of individuals formed are far more than what the environment can sustain, there is intraspecific or interspecific struggle for existence. Intraspecific struggle is the competition for limited resources among the individuals of the same species. Interspecific struggle is the struggle for existence between the organisms of different species living together. Survival of the fittest. Variations in organisms help them to survive. Organisms which are unable to cope with the changing environment have less adaptive traits and are unfit to survive and finally perish or are eliminated. The organisms which show favorable variations adapt themselves with the changing environment and succeed in the struggle for existence. The superior variations lead to the survival of a particular organism and are inherited during reproduction. Variation and heredity. According to Darwin, the superior or useful variations are preserved and passed on to the next generation. Successive generations have better ability to adapt themselves with the environmental challenges. Origin of new species. Organisms 
with favorable variations are selected by nature and show better chances of survival. It is due to various adaptations that different forms of organisms finally give rise to new species. New species arise from pre-existing life that share a common ancestor. Darwin studied the birds of Galapagos Island which showed a variety of finches. The birds developed different beaks as per the availability of food. This proved adaptive radiation which is a process of evolution resulting in transformation of original species to different varieties. In Australia, kangaroo is the most known marsupial mammal. There are many other marsupial mammals that have evolved from a common ancestor. There are several objections to Darwin's theory of natural selection. Darwin's theory only explains the survival of the fittest, but not the arrival of the fittest. He had no idea about the hereditary principles. Darwin could not explain the causes, origin and inheritance of variations. He had no idea about the genetic changes or mutation and genetic diversity of a species. Next is New Darwinism. It is a modified form of Darwinism. Accumulation of the genotypic variation in a gene pool is the main force for speciation. Genetic recombination, mutation, reproductive isolation and natural selection are the various factors of variation. The new Darwinians like Huxley, Hackel, Weismann and others included Mendelian genetics and natural selection to explain evolution. Now let us learn about the modern synthetic theory of evolution. This was put forward by Dobzhansky, Mayer, Huxley and others. It is a theory of organic evolution by natural selection of inherited character along with the mutation theory. It explains evolution based on genetic change in population which leads to the origin of new species. Modern synthetic theory consists of three main concepts genetic variations, natural selection and isolation. The change in gene and gene frequencies is called genetic variation. The combination of all the genes present in a reproducing population is called gene pool. The percentage of a population that carries allele at a particular locus is called gene frequency. Genetic variation in populations is caused by factors like gene mutations, gene flow, genetic drift, genetic recombination and chromosomal aberration. Gene mutation or point mutation refers to a change in one or more genes. There is variation in the gene pool due to addition, deletion or substitution of the nitrogenous bases which bring about change in gene frequency. Gene flow is the transfer of genes between two genetically different populations. If immigration or emigration of individuals from one population to another occurs multiple times, then it contributes genes to the gene pool. This leads to gene flow 
and changes the gene frequency of the populations. Any alteration in allele frequency of a population due to sudden random changes or by pure chance is called genetic drift. Smaller populations have greater chances for genetic drift. Genetic recombination is a process where new combinations of alleles are formed. In sexually reproducing organisms, the homologous chromosomes exchange genetic material during meiosis by the process of crossing over. New combinations occur which are responsible for variations. Chromosomal aberrations, the structural alteration in a chromosome by deletion, duplication, translocation, etc. bring about changes causing variations. Next is natural selection. Organisms that are better adapted to the environment are selected by nature. Evolutionary changes occur as it favors differential reproduction of genes. Advantageous mutations are included into the population through the process of natural selection. Isolation. Organisms of the same species are separated into several subunits as a result of environmental changes. Interbreeding between isolated groups cannot take place, there is no gene flow and it may lead to the formation of new species. The inability of a species to breed successfully with related species may be due to geographical barriers, behavioral barriers, physiological barriers or genetic barriers. Geographical isolation occurs when a certain type of population is separated into two or more groups by geographical barriers like river, mountain, forest, etc. These groups under different environmental factors acquire variations and are processed by natural selection. Reproductive isolation between two populations occur due to the change in genetic material, gene pool and structure of genital organs. In seasonal isolation, interbreeding is not possible because sexual maturity is attained at different times in the members of a population. In ethological isolation, different mating behaviors among the members of two populations prevent interbreeding. Modern synthetic theory of evolution is the most widely accepted theory of evolution. Variations that occur at the gene level can only be inherited by the future generations and this leads to evolution. So today we have learnt in detail about theory of inheritance of acquired characters proposed by Lamarck, Darwin's theory of natural selection and modern synthetic theory of evolution. I have some practice questions for you. Please share your answers in the comment section below. You can pause the video and write down the questions if you like. Thank you so much for your time and participation. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider subscribing the channel and press the bell icon to get instant notification of all the upcoming videos. Also, if you want to discuss any particular topic in biology, please mention that in the comment section below. I'll see you there. Goodbye. All the best.